Just look at all of these RX 9070s and 9070 XTs. I originally came to ASRock's booth to check out their 520 hertz monitor, but when I saw all of these GPUs and motherboards, I just had to look at everything else first. AMD might not have revealed much, but a ton of early products are clearly out there. We've got the RX 9070 Challenger, as well as the 9070 Steel Legend, and then for the XT line, we've got the Tai Chi and another white Steel Legend. They've also got a couple of ARC cards, two B580s and a B570 Challenger 10 gigabyte. I love the looks of these cards. They're all three fans with uh, white and black variants. The XT Tai Chi has a nice see-through fan with a bunch of RGB in the middle, and then they've got the same thing across the two white cards for the Steel Legend and the XT Steel Legend. I can't wait for AMD to actually reveal just about anything about these cards, but until then, what about all these motherboards? They're showing off a bunch of different boards here. We've got a mix of both AMD and Intel. We've got a B850 Steel Legend Wi-Fi, B850 Riptide Wi-Fi, B860 Steel Legend Wi-Fi, B850i Lightning Wi-Fi for all you ITX lovers out there. We've also got a B60M Steel Legend Wi-Fi as well as the Z890 Tai Chi Aqua. I love the Aquas, they're pretty sick. And last but not least, the Z890 Tai Chi OCF. I think this is the one that we're actually getting later for our Kudim video, not 100% sure, but I know that it's gonna run all of those dims very, very nicely. It's only got two DIMM slots, and that's mostly because when you have more than two, instability is just so much more likely to happen. It's gonna be a lot harder with something like this with four DIMM slots to run everything at really high speeds. And for Kudim, you need really high speeds. That's kind of the whole point of it. Okay, we're finally gonna game on the new IPS 520 hertz gaming monitor. But first, a word from our sponsor, Dbrand, and their Ghost Case 2.0. Have you ever owned a clear case that looked like this? Well, with the Ghost Case 2.0, that's literally impossible. Dbrand's words, not mine. In fact, they're so confident about their zero yellowing guarantee that they'll literally give you free replacements for life if it ever turns yellow. Now, you may have heard that clear cases can scratch pretty easily. In fact, Dbrand had that exact problem with their original 1.0 version of the Ghost. Not anymore. They spent over a year developing an all new scratch resistant coating and replacing every single Ghost 1.0 customer for free. So if you wanna get the holy grail of clear cases from a company that cares about their customers, head over to dbrand.com ghost and for a limited time, get $10 off, no coupon required. ASRock's PG27 FFX2A is IPS. So unlike other fast TN panels, you've actually got really good color and viewing angles. It covers 94% of DCI-P3 and 123% of sRGB and hits 400 nits of typical brightness. As for size, it's a 27 inch screen with a 1080p resolution, so PPI leaves a bit to be desired, but that's perfectly okay as long as the price is right. As for the stand, you've got your typical up and down, tilt, swivel, can it pivot? Can't pivot. That's okay, still pretty sweet. Honestly, most people aren't gonna be pivoting a 520 hertz gaming monitor Anyway, I don't think you're ever gonna put this thing into portrait mode. As for I.O., we've got two HDMI 2.1 ports, one DisplayPort 1.4, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 by 1 Type A, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 by 1 Type B, a headphone jack, and my favorite part, two two watt speakers. I love when monitors come with speakers. But enough of all that, it's time to game. We came here earlier to make sure that CS2 was downloaded and installed. It's time. Man, I gotta say, 520 Hertz is a lot. The 600 hertz monitor we looked at the other day, it was faster, sure. But it was also TN. And like, I don't want a TN panel. IPS just looks so much better. Uh, yes, I'm just killing bots, but I gotta say, when it's this fast, any excuse, you don't have it anymore. It's not your monitor, it's not your mouse. If you screw up at this point, it's on you. When you've got that mixture of high refresh rate and fast pixel response times, the screen just clears up so fast. So you do a flick and bam, you're good. You can just get on target and shoot. It's really hard. I try to tell myself that 240 hertz is fast enough for me, but then as soon as I try like a 480 hertz or a 500 or 520 or even 600, I can't help but wish that I had it at the same time because I just want the best of everything. Maybe. In another few years, we're gonna have the absolute best monitor available for a reasonable price, but until then, it's available now on Newegg at just $5.99.
It's actually pretty reasonably priced and I can't wait to see it in stores and actually get some testing done if we ever get it on short circuit. Thanks for checking out ASRock's booth with me, you guys. If you wanna check out any other CES videos, there's a lot of them. Maybe the ASUS booth we're gonna check out a little later today.